On arrival at the Channel Tunnel, check-in is automated by number plate recognition. You just follow the instructions on the screen and hang the printed letter on your rear view mirror. This is the parking area where you wait until your letter appears on the big screen, but we were almost late on this occasion, so continued straight to passport control. Once the passports are checked by the UK authorities, you are directed to security to ensure your gas is switched off. Next stop, your passports are checked by the French authorities. Follow the signs for your height of vehicle and then finally, at this kiosk you're placed into a numbered lane of the train. You then proceed to board the train and enjoy your trip to France. Hello. Hello! Welcome back to the channel, Spirit of Adventure. We are Kath and Andy. And we are currently on the Channel Tunnel. We're jiggling about a bit. We have a bit. We've just set off. We should be there in about, I don't know why I look at my watch. We should be there in about 30 minutes. Um, we are booked into an air in Belgium tonight in mm. a town called Verne, which looks yeah. very nice. It looks really it? nice, yeah, absolutely. We're going to stay there for two nights, have an investigation of the town tomorrow. It is nicknamed Little Bruges, so that should be really interesting. Yeah. And then after that, we are, um, what do I call it? Armed with guidebooks. As usual, uh, we're going to be heading southeast uh, into Belgium and we may slip into Luxembourg or Germany depending on how the mood takes us, how much time we have left, and what the weather's like. After you, say, after you. This is a first this year, sitting outside in the sunshine. And when in Belgium. Absolutely. Have a Belgian beer. Yeah, we're in uh, Verne at the moment. <coughs> um, and it's, as Kath said earlier, it's um, coined Mini Bruges. And you can actually see why as well. Uh, when you go there, the architecture and the main square, very, very similar to, to Bruges itself, but without the crowds. Um, we met a guy this morning, didn't we? Yeah. Rather, he met us. <laughs> um, he was looking for someone to talk to. You could see that a couple of people had said something and walked off. Um, and he asked us in about four or five different languages what we spoke. When he found out we were English, uh, we spent... Half an hour with him. At least half an hour, yeah, yeah talking. Wow his knowledge of this and surrounding areas and the history of it was astounding. And we have learned more about Vern and there's no way we would have seen half the stuff we saw in Vern without that information, would no. we? 
Okay. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so if you see a, a chap with a, a nice um, sort of Belgium-esque style hat on, if you know what I mean, like a peak type hat, <clears throat> walking yeah. a little dog. A little ginger spaniel. Um, grab hold of him and talk to him. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> It's at this point that Cecile, our guide, ran off, leaving us in total darkness. <laughs> oh, we're only joking. She ran out to meet another person who'd arranged to video the caves. This is the amazing Cecile who's just allowed us entry into the caves, which are closed at the moment. So for that, thank, thank you. you very, very much indeed. It was brilliant. Welcome. So interesting. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come back. Chances of, 
of that happening were just incredible, yeah. weren't they? She actually, I said to her, in fact, you know, you said to her, we're looking for the caves. And she went, oh, they're shut. But I'll go get the keys. <laughs> Which was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, we had a, probably, I don't know, we weren't in there long because we, we felt like we were kind of imposing on her time, didn't we, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but my goodness me, the man-made caves, you could see all the little marks where they'd hacked away. And they just, they go on for, I think they said, was it, it was 16 hectares, I think. We spent a beautiful, peaceful evening next to a monastery where we will end this video. As always, if you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and a comment. In our next video, we will be visiting Dunant and the Leffer Brewery. If you'd like to come along, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you with us.